Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you've been following me for a while, you will know that I am literally obsessed with Asana. Now, if you don't know what Asana is, Asana is actually a project management tool that I use pretty much to run my entire life and my business. But I recently saw that one of my friends, Michelle B, had created a video where she showed how she organizes her life in a program that she uses called Notion. And I wanted to do the same thing, but of course with Asana. So basically what I'm gonna do today is just show you how I organize my life a little bit, but mostly how I organize my business with Asana, just so I can help you to get more organized in your business so that, you know, you can be more organized. I also want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Asana. No, it's actually not, but I mean, Asana, if you're watching, I would totally love for you to sponsor me. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me showing you how I organize my business so that I can stay so productive and get so many things done. In there, there's content creation, managing my team, business planning, project planning, all of that fun stuff. So if you did enjoy it, I would very much appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you are new around here, then make sure you do subscribe. Okay, so welcome to my Asana. What you're actually looking at here is the home section of Asana, I would barely use this section. Basically the way Asana works is you've got all the individual shortcuts to the left hand side here. And then what you can see underneath is they call it teams because predominantly this program is used by organizations to collaborate within teams on individual projects. But as someone who is pretty much using it by themselves to run their own life and their business, I mean, I do work with some freelancers, but for the most part, all of this is just me and the work that I do. I use the team section to pretty much break down all of the different individual areas of my life and of course my business. So basically at the top here, what you can see on the left hand side is just home, my tasks, inbox and portfolio. The only thing that I actually use in this section is the my tasks section. So basically what this my tasks section is just a pull of all the individual tasks in all of the individual projects that you have and putting that into one date categorized list. So as you can see here, just by date, in order of date, you can see all of the tasks that I have to do in my life and in my business. I don't actually ever use it as a list, but what I will do is I will use it in the calendar view. So basically this is just like a Google calendar. It gives me an overview of all the individual tasks that I have to do and have to complete in my life and in my business. Now, what I will say is that I still use Google calendar. I use Google calendar probably even more so then I use Asana calendar. Reason being, it has all of my reoccurring events, all of my client calls, all of my personal events. This in Asana is mostly just the projects and the tasks that I have to work on for my projects. But of course, I do end up cross-referencing them with one another to make sure that I'm not missing any pieces of my business that need to get done. But moving on down to like the main sections that I actually use in Asana. So like I said, the way that it's really broken down is into teams and then within those individual teams, you've got particular projects. So like I said, I use the team section for the individual areas of my life and of my business. And then within each of those areas, I have different projects. So the teams or areas that I have is personal, vision and planning, operations, marketing and growth, launches and funnels and administration, which at the moment has nothing in it. So I'm just gonna go through a little bit of a breakdown. I mean, it would probably take way too long if I showed you every single task within every single project, within every single team, but I kind of just wanted to show you how I use it to organize myself and all the individual areas of my business because I know that when I was first starting my business, this project management side of things was something that was really unknown to me. Like, what does an entrepreneur actually do with their day? Like, what are they working on? That that might be questions that you have and that's kind of why I wanted to film this video so you can see all of the individual things that I work on in my business. Okay, so the first one that we've got here in the top corner is of course personal. What I have in the In 2020 I project is basically just my goals for 2020. It's just, I have them listed out in my journal, I have them on my iPad, I have them in my notes, I have them here. I have my goals listed everywhere. So I'm not gonna go through them but you can see them on the screen here. It's basically just my list of goals. Then 
I have this vibes board, which I've shown on my Instagram before, the reason why I have my goals and my vibes board right next to all of my business planning projects that I need to do is because every single day when I'm coming into Asana and looking at, I have to do this, I have to do this project and you know write these emails, launch this funnel, whatever it may be. I like to stop by and actually have a little look at my vibes board because this is my personal motivation. This is what I'm working towards. This is the lifestyle I wanna live of travel, you know, being able to grow my YouTube audience, a particular type of home style, or the hobbies that I have. And so when I'm thinking, oh, I'm doing this task or that task, when I'm passing by here, I can know why I'm actually doing something. I think it's really important to kind of connect in your personal vision with your business activity, because sometimes it's really easy to get caught up in the, I have to do this, I should do this. But if you don't know exactly why you're doing it on a more personable level, it can be sometimes really demotivating. So this vibes board is basically just here to like remind me of what I'm working towards essentially. But then I just have my like, kind of to-do list, you could say, which is, I've called it focus because, you know, when the rock goes, focus, I love that. <laughs> um, but basically this is just like a, this week I've got to complete and then usually it looks like this next week and then later this month and next month, but because it's the last month of the week when I'm filming this, next month is next week. So basically I just move these around. Something that I really like about Asana is that it's got different types of projects that you can create. So you can create a project as a list, which you'll see that I do sometimes, as a board, which is really fun and it's very aesthetic. You can do it as a timeline, as a calendar. There's so many different ways that you can essentially have projects. I use mostly the list and the board feature, but for this focus section, it's just a to-do list. Now it's not my every single task that is on my Google calendar. So I don't have any of my like client calls, any of my reoccurring events, but kind of like the one-off things or like the projects that I'm working on over the next couple of weeks and month, I will have listed in here. Now this is something that I've only just started, so it may look a little incomplete, but these are, yeah, like I said, you know, this YouTube retreat is not something that I would be doing every single week. It's just something that's happening on these three days. So that's something that's going to be in here. So basically this focus is just all of those kind of like individual one-off tasks that I need to do. Now getting into the really exciting section, the vision and planning I'm not gonna go through so much because these are just the individual areas of my business. So in the Game Changer Company project, what you'll actually see here is just, you know, things like my team organizational chart, my Ascension model, my content plan, my brand styling guide. It's just got a lot of stuff on here that is basically just the things that make up my business. Um, but in my business vision plan, basically that is just like all of the things that I want to achieve in my business over the next sort of you know, next month, next six months, next 12 months, next five years. Again, it's more just goal stuff. This is the vision and planning section after all. And then a team breakdown is just basically all of the roles that I have filled and all of the roles that I am trying to fill in my business. So it's just a break breakdown of my team. The next section, which is probably the section you guys are going to be most interested in is the operations section. Basically, I have my 2020 sales plan, which I'm not gonna show you because it is something that I actually went through in great detail in a resource that I created for fun, some of my students recently. So actually planning out all of my projects, profit planning. And so because this is a video on YouTube, I don't wanna take it away from that particular resource that I did create. But basically what my sales plan is just all of the ways that I plan out all of the different product launches that I'm going to do in my business. The GCC membership is my membership. As you know, if you've been following for a while, I have a membership platform, a monthly membership. And basically this is just how I plan out that project. So in here, I have all of the individual months. So each month there's a new focus, a new masterclass. And within each of these individual cards, there's just a checklist of all the things that need to be done between me and my team of course, that need to get done to actually run that membership. Monthly projects is basically just very similar to my focus board where it's all the individual projects that I am working on each month. So it's more of a broader view of what's actually going across the next sort of six months in my business. And then I have an all the small things list. Now, this is something that, I mean, at the moment, it's not gonna look very full, but sometimes it can be extremely full. I think something that ends up overwhelming a lot of entrepreneurs in business is more so the small things 
things rather than the big projects. You know, it's the, I've got to respond to this person. I've got to do that. I've got to do this little thing here. You know, for me the other day, it was like finally changing over all my emails and passwords and stuff from the May Collective, my old company name to the Game Changer Company stuff. And so that's a really big thing as well. But it's just one of those little tasks. I mean, I say it's a big thing, but it's a little task that always just gets pushed back, pushed back because it's not so urgent. So basically I have this like list of things under different categories that I'm always trying to like just update so that when I've got some free time, I can just come and just smash a bunch of those tasks out, which is what I did the other day, which is why it's so empty. But basically just like smashing out a bunch of those tasks, obviously then I don't feel so overwhelmed because they're always sitting in the back of my mind. And then of course I have an events one, which there's nothing in there because let's face it, I'm not running any events at the moment, just some ideas. Um, the next one is my content calendar. Now I did an entire video on this, so I'm not really gonna go through it. I literally did an entire video on how I plan and create my content. But basically because I'm not doing the podcast at the moment, this is just my YouTube channel. And it kind of just goes through all of the individual videos that I'm gonna make and the process that I actually go through to make those videos. And then finally, the last one that you do see here is my just launches and funnels section. Basically, this is just any time that I am going into a launch or if I am creating a funnel or something along that sinus kind of like sales structure side of my business. That is a project in and of itself and of course needs to be planned out and all the individual things that I do to actually get that up and running. I of course plan out here in Asana. So in the next month or so, I'm going to be relaunching slash building a funnel for one of my programs that I absolutely love in demand. And as you can see here, here are, I just broken down all of the individual steps under each individual category to get that funnel actually up and running. I feel like I kind of did rush through all of these because obviously there's so much here in my Asana. If there's an individual area that you'd like me to go through in more detail, please do just let me know. I'm of course happy to be completely transparent with you guys of how I run my business. But of course, Asana is such an in-depth, I didn't want this to be an Asana training. You can look up, there's so many videos on that if you don't know how to use Asana or what all of the individual things are. But I kind of just wanted to show you how I use Asana for my life and for my business because I think a lot of people want to see the kind of behind the scenes of how a business is actually run, not just what they see on social media. And I wanna be the person to show you that because I know that's what I was looking for in the beginning. Okay. So so that is it. That is my entire Asana. I really hoped you liked going through it with me. Definitely let me know if you would like for me to do more of these sort of showing you my systems. I mean, I can't really think of that many more systems that I use considering I pretty much just mostly use Asana for everything. But if you do like this more like behind the scenes in the behind the curtains of my business, then definitely let me know. And I thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.